Ahoy, mateys, and welcome to Season 4 of Microwave Me. Today, Captain Microwave is going to do the same thing he does to start every new season. Three of his favorite items from a past season. This season is going to be filled with a lot of excitement, a lot of new changes, namely this camera, a lot of more exciting items, and what you saw at the end of Season 3, that was just a small taste of what's to come. And the microwave for Season 4, for at least the experiments that will kill them off, is our Kenmore Beast Microwave. Jareth the Goblin King. I still don't know how to pronounce it right, but oh well. Who gives a crap? And I'm going to put these items into the microwave. Like so, and I'm going to test out different capabilities of the lighting because previous seasons the lighting was an issue. I'm going to place three Brillo pads in there. I'm going to do four pencils. And you remember five hour energy, how explosive that was? Gonna be doing one of them too. All season debuts are meant to take up a good deal of time. Be long microwaving. So, I'm going to probably do this for, eh, I'll say, 11 minutes. If I do it right, I won't need the auxiliary microwave illuminator after this episode, but I'm going to have it there. Just in case, for some reason, it's needed. Right.
That was exciting. He had as much fun with that little bit as I did, but would have been better if I wouldn't have thought there would have been a risk of the microwave not making it. But that I guess makes this the shortest season debut ever. As you can see, there was no need for the illuminator whatsoever. Let's examine the post product. And <laughs> Still steaming. The SOS pads burnt. The drink exploded, but doesn't look like the pencils went off at all. Which I find to be quite peculiar. So I would have thought that in the right conditions for a really awesome plasma show plus an explosion, but it was not to be. Perhaps if I take out the SOS pads and the blown apart drink. Seems every season I need to take out some items so that other things can have their shot at glory. And so be it. Now, go to the energy drink and the SOS pads. And in stay the rearranged pencils into an odd square shape. Now, I will resume where I left off. Too many pencils, perhaps? Could be like with Renee and the grape back in the season one. Take out most of the grapes just to get something of a plasma show. I'm gonna take out all but one pencil.
I think there was too much moisture in there to catch that pencil on fire. Maybe now. Hmm. Perhaps SOS pad plus pencil equals exciting show.
Well, that was weird. Okay, let's examine the post product for real this time. I had to cheat a little to get some pencil plasma from the graphite. Which surprised me, because overall this is a more powerful microwave than to me, but Jareth seems to have his weaknesses. The eraser didn't even burn up, as you can see. And there's remains of... Pencil plasma, not pencil plasma. Or, uh, well, at least uh, the uh, good parts of the experiment that I was hoping for did happen. We did get explosion from the can of energy drink. We got a little bit of pencil plasma, and we definitely got Rillo pad plasma. Now, my final verdict on whether or not good idea. Energy drink, bad idea. Pencils, bad idea. Brillo pads, bad idea. All around, rotten idea. Don't do this at home. It's a bad idea, but it makes for a pretty cool show. So with that, I'm signing off, and I say stay tuned for next episode.